In its faster flowing sections, the gushing sight and sound of the Englishman River has a natural, wild appeal. In the river's more tranquil settings, the low autumn sun sparkles off the water, suggesting that it is healthy and clean and even good enough to drink. But when it comes to the protection of the regional district of Nanaimo's watersheds, there is definitely a call for certainty. This autumn, the RDN, the Ministry of Environment and various stewardship groups have been testing the water quality and the overall health of the different watershed sources. Dissolved oxygen is 13.48. It benefits everyone in the regional district. We all live downstream, we all live in a watershed, and if the more we know about these watersheds, the better we can protect this valuable resource for our drinking water, for aquatic life, for recreation, and for the general health of our ecosystems. And protecting the water starts with data collection. The Mid-Island Habitat Enhancement Society is one group active with the rivers, and with a bit of sophisticated equipment, they are able to gather the temperature of the water, the dissolved oxygen, and more. We have a probe, it has uh, two sensors on the end. When we put the probe in the water, uh, the sensors uh, take the measurements, feed the information back to the meter, and the meter displays the results. This is something that our group has been very um, keen to take up because uh, it's like, uh, like going to the doctor and getting your checkup and uh, seeing how your cholesterol is or your temperature and your pulse and all of that kind of stuff. And it's the same with the river and the watershed. If we can uh, keep tabs on how it's doing and watch for any kinds of changes, things that show up that are uh, possible impacts on the river, we can deal with it. The groups are also testing for turbidity, which can make a big difference in whether the water is drinkable or not. This is a sample I just took out of the river. I'm cleaning off the bottle to make sure there's no grease or little bits of dirt on the outside of it. We all rely on water. You know, drinking water, vital source. We all need it to live. And there's my reading point two zero, which is about exactly what I would expect. Because there are so many uses of this water, especially in the Englishman River in this area, we have to be really doubly uh, concerned. We want to do what's good for the river. <laughs> That's the bottom line. For more information on the RDN Watershed Protection Initiatives, visit www.rdn.bc.ca. And for more information on the Mid-Vancouver Island Habitat Enhancement Society, go to www.mvihes.bc.ca. For Shaw TV, I'm Derek Johnstone.